Where do we pick up with Effie and Naomi? It's four years on from when you last saw them, so they're more adult than they were before. Learning how Supposed to live to in be. the real world <laughs> and having to get jobs and stuff. They're living together in London. Yeah. In a in a crazy little flat. Um, that's it. Mm. Would you say their relationships changed maybe since we last saw them because they weren't necessarily that close mm. at the time? No, well, me and Lily were talking about it and we only properly had like two scenes together mm. throughout the whole series, which is really weird because we're such good friends that like, we never noticed that mm. we hadn't actually ever really done a lot together. Um, so I was really, really excited when I found out that she was going to be in it as well mm. um, because oh. it meant that we could work together all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's been four years since series four in terms of the show. I mean, do we find out anything about what's happened to them in the oh, interview? Yeah, no, yeah. Don't really, but we kind of did our own backstory. And yeah, stuff. we did we like a timeline from when we last saw them in college to what's happened to them to get them to this point. So in our mind, like we know, but it, it isn't actually really referred to. Right, mm. okay. And the characters are older, so I mean, does this feel like a more adult, more mature skins? It yeah. does, it's different. Yeah, I think it, visually it's going to look very different as well. Mm. Each different block has three different directors and DOPs, um, so each one will have their own feel. It won't feel like a continuous series, which mm. it isn't. It is essentially. And it's just two episodes. Yeah, each. it's essentially three mini films mm. on TV over two nights. Yeah. So that, that was really exciting for us because it was like a challenge and it's something new. Do you think it is really. The final end, because like you said, there's always talk of a movie or something like that. Or do you think this is the end? As far as we know, <laughs> this is the end. Yeah. This is the end. I'd like it to be the end, only because I think we've done so well, and Skins has been such a great thing for our generation. And I kind of want it to stay that way. I don't want it to become a parody of itself or become too well known or done too many times. Mm. Like I like mm. that we've kind of we've done everything that it has to do now. And um, everyone that started watching it six years ago, they're like in different places of their life now. Mm. But who knows? Maybe there'll be like skins beach balls flying about or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you know, whenever a new show, particularly a new teen drama, you know, arrives, it's always described as the new skins. So I mean, do you feel like this show, even after it's gone, has kind of changed television forever? Yeah. But, well, they never really had a show like it. Well, for our age, anyway, mm. before. There wasn't anything like it on TV at the time. It'd be, it it'd be nice to think that it has. Like that would, I, I think that would make us feel really cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I think it was, it was great at the time because it... There was definitely an increase in teen drama. Yeah. And, and it was good for British TV, it. I think, like, to show that... It was the first ever British show on E4. Mm. So it, that, that was like, amazing that we, we kind of started that trend and now there's loads. Mm. Is there? Well, there's a few. There's a few. <laughs>